Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the latest resin printer from Wanhao, the Wanhao Duplicator 7. So Ultimate 3D Printing Store was nice enough to send over one of the new Wanhao Duplicator 7s for review. This is the 1.4 version, which is the very latest and greatest from Wanhao, and this is going to be my official review. First, let's go over some of the specifications. It's got a 120 by 68 by 200 millimeter build volume, so that is rather small, but however, this printer is designed for high accuracy and near flawless prints rather than large volume. It uses its own software called Creation Workshop, However, you can use other software with it, such as Nano DLP, which I'll discuss shortly. You can print down to 25 micron on this beast, and it uses UV resin in its reservoir to cure the model. If you're not familiar with DLP or UV resin style printers, the way they work is they are basically they're similar to the way an FDM printer works, sort of. It does it layer by layer still, However, instead of using a molten plastic to lay down the layers, it is using a UV light to cure each layer, layer by layer, thus building up your part. So the printer consists of a resin tank, and at the bottom of this resin tank is the UV, uh, the UV light, as well as a projector. Now the projector connects to your PC via HDMI, and then projects the layer slice image of whatever you're printing for the set amount of time to cure that layer of resin. This is a bit of a jump um, and it is very different to the traditional, well by traditional I mean the way of 3D printing that I've shown you in the past. This is quite different. It uses a UV sensitive resin to cure each layer. Now it came with a sample of um, Wanhao's resin but to be honest, I didn't like that. Um, I had fail after fail, and the guys over at Monocure 3D were nice enough to send me some of their resin to play with. So the models that I'm showing you are all done with Monocure uh, 3D Rapid, which they specifically made for the D7 and other uh, projector style printers that have a lower UV intensity. UV resin printers generally run in the thousands of dollars. Uh, if you do a Google search and have a look, you won't find many which are under four figures. However, the Wanhao Duplicator 7 is designed, I guess, sort of as an entry level. This one is currently $495.99 from Ultimate 3D Printing Store. I'll put links to where you can get this in the description. Um, I don't think I have any coupon codes or discounts or anything for you on this. This is a completely and utterly unbiased review. Now, the prints I'm showing you now, you can see the detail on these models is nearly flawless. These were all printed at about 50 micron and some of them were even at 100 micron. Not that you can tell. The orange model is using the Wanhao provided resin and it was the only successful model that I was able to get using their resin. Rest of the prints were all via Monocure. So the way it works is it lowers the build platform down to the actual base of the uh, reservoir, which is close to the projector. It then will flash a pattern or the layer slice in light form, uh, like a bright white light, and then a UV light will kick in and cure that layer. It'll hold it for the number of seconds you de uh, designate in the software, raise up, let it cure a bit, come back down and start the next layer. Prints generally are slower, obviously because we're printing in 50 micron and even 25 micron. However, this is a very quiet printer and you can just leave it alone and just set it in the corner to do its thing. I would not recommend this as a first printer if you're a beginner. If you've had a tinker with FDM and you're comfortable with tinkering and um, diagnosing and troubleshooting issues and things like that, then most certainly I highly recommend you give this one a go. It is a fairly steep learning curve. It took me about 250 mils of resin to actually get a successful print, um, only due to my lack of experience with resin printing. Now once the model's cured and it's all finished, 
it will print it will it does print upside down as you can see behind me and then once it's finished you use the plastic spatula provided to scrape it off the build volume you then need to do processing which not necessarily is required for fdm printing you need to give it a swirl in isopropyl alcohol to remove any uh, uncured resin off the print otherwise you're going to get blobs and stuff of uncured resin like drips which will then cure into the model so you need to give it a good swish or a good bath in isopropyl alcohol and then you put it out in the sun and let the uv harden the model or you can cheat and do what i've done and i bought a uh, nail salon uv thing that you use for the, put your fingernails in or whatever chicks do um, and then the model i just put them in there for 10 minutes job done another thing to consider with resin printing is it is very messy and it is very stinky the resin itself smells like super glue so it really stinks and you will get it everywhere i highly recommend you wear rubber gloves and eye protection when you're around these printers because it really does get on everything and you would need to designate a a print area that is like a clean area that nothing goes there except for your uh, DLP prints but with that said it is a great fun printer um, if you haven't experimented with DLP before or resin printing I highly recommend you give this one a go links in the description and if you haven't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up and if you want to ask any questions just comment below and I'll do my best to answer just quickly with my dislikes of this printer is it needs to be tethered because it is using HDMI input off your computer so that's basically appearing as a second or a third or a fourth depending on how many screens you have it's appearing as a new monitor on your PC uh, the only way around this to get it untethered is to get yourself a Raspberry Pi and install nano DLP this will then put it into a like you can then have it standalone away from your PC and you're not tethered so yeah the only drawback is by default out of the box you are stuck to it tethered to your PC and it is using a monitor so even if you're playing games and stuff on a different monitor the aspect ratio on that other monitor may change and screw up prints a raspberry pi 3 is i think an essential with this kind of unit now if you're not already please subscribe it helps us a ton we're pushing 12,000 subscribers which is just amazing our patreons are there loyal supporters of the show which help us to upgrade things like the camera which is now 4k so all of our content now will be in 4k you can see my ugly head in more definition. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.